All right, so we are starting off this vlog uh, very sweaty. <laughs> I just did a workout for the first time in a long time. I really just wanna get back into shape. And if you have chronic pain issues, you know that that can be really difficult because if you're like on a roll and then you have to take off a week because you feel like shit, it just kind of like throws you off. So I'm just trying not to let that affect me and just work out on the days I can and not be like too hard on myself. I'm very black or white. So if I feel like I can't do something like 110% then I just don't do it <laughs> which is a really bad habit so I just went on my whatever this is called thing I got off of Amazon that makes you sweat and kills your legs but tomorrow is Monday and I'm actually gonna go to a gym and get a personal trainer and also just like get out of the house if you work from home and you're working out in your house and you're cooking in your house and you're cleaning in your house it's just like a lot of being in your house so I think going to the gym will be good for me so today's sunday tonight is gonna be super fun i'm going to this like axe throwing bar thing with like i think there's six of us or eight of us not sure how axes and alcohol mix but we're gonna find out i'm gonna try and actually start painting this like table i'm gonna redo i was gonna do a video on it so i could take down my old how to paint furniture without sanding video i don't know still debating i'm gonna get clips in case i do decide to make that video but I'll show you guys kind of like the before and after in this vlog too. My parents just left, yeah, was that yesterday? Yeah, yesterday morning. They were visiting Seattle for a few days and they helped me hang my gallery wall thing and stuff. So I'll go show you that. So here is the gallery wall. I'm in love. I'm going to do a whole blog post or something breaking down exactly where I got all these. A lot of them were from Etsy. That will be up by the time this video goes up. So I'll link that in the description box down below if you want to know where everything is from but i'm super happy with the way it turned out and i'm going to paint this red which i think will look really good with the rug over there and just add like a pop of color and then i want to get like a plant for this thing but i think i'm going to start this project today it should be pretty quick because it's pretty small and i don't need to like take anything apart this is basically everything i'm going to be using this is the key to life the zinser cover stain primer there's a few different versions they have like the one two three and then this one, I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. I just know this one has worked for me for years, and so I stick with it. I still have furniture that I painted with this stuff from literally about five years ago that hasn't chipped or anything, so this definitely works. This is the color I'm going to be painting it. It's the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover in Apple Red. This one is supposed to be like, I think you only need one coat. I'll probably still do two, but it's supposed to be super opaque and everything. And then you need some kind of sealant. In life, you're either a paintbrush person or you're a foam brush person. I've tried both. I have really nice paint brushes. I just prefer foam brushes. I hate having to clean. And especially with the primer, this is an oil base. So it's a pain in the butt to clean out of brushes. I would way rather just use a foam brush and then toss it. That's just what I like. I don't find that this affects the finish at all. I feel like I actually get a better finish with foam brushes than I do with a paintbrush. So you can get these at like Dollar Tree. You can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. I don't even know where I got these ones. This is super smelly, so definitely make sure you open all of your windows if you're not doing it outside. And by the way, this surface is definitely laminate. This is not real wood, so it's like a glossy laminate. And this works fine, the Zenser over laminate. I have used it on laminate before, it doesn't have to be real wood. Any kind of like slick, glossy surface, whether it's real wood or laminate, the Zenser works on. So you can literally do any surface with this. I told you guys about these boots when I got them and I totally love them and I've been wearing them all the time. Does anyone else get like paint excitement? Like this is so freaking pretty. So I'm just gonna mix this up, always mix up your paint, folks. And oh, this looks thick. So I'm halfway through painting this thing. I have one coat on with the primer and I wanna put a face mask on. So I recently showed in a vlog or in a video reorganizing my whole setup here. And I wanna use a face mask. I've been using this one like multiple times a week. I've, I love this. I'm not a huge fan at all of the jet lag mask. I feel like it didn't really do anything for me. But the Summer Friday Overtime Mask, this is so nice. It has like exfoliating beads. So I just really like it for dry skin because it leaves your skin still super glowy and moisturized feeling, but you get like all the dead skin off. I don't think I've tried this one. Maybe we'll try Cold Plunge Pore Mask. Haven't tried this one yet either. The By Terry Detoxify. Ooh, Fizzing Mask. That sounds fun. This one's more of like an acne treatment, the Saturn Sunday Riley. Yeah, I think we're gonna go in with 
this guy today. I usually will just leave my masks on for like hours. I'm not gonna be showering until I'm ready to like go out in a couple hours. So this will probably be on for a while. Ooh, oh, whoops. I can't see the mirror and prop you guys up. So I'm trying to do both here. Ooh, that's a cool color blue. I hope this actually feels like super cooling. Mmm, I love the scent of it. it. Smells like medicinal, but also minty. It smells like it's gonna do something. It does feel a little bit cooling. Feels nice. Definitely feeling the cooling sensation. Feels really good. Feels like very refreshing. I'm into it. Alright, so it's a couple days later and it is done. I wanted to show you right here, not where I'm actually putting it because there's a little bit better natural light coming in right here. I love the color. Would not recommend that paint. The paint was super thick. It took more coats than usual, so I would say uh, don't use that red paint. But I love the spray polyurethane top coat. Okay, I am in love. It looks so cute here. And I'm probably going to put this wood tray. This is actually from Target, but I found it at Goodwill for like, I think it was like five bucks or something. I'm gonna put a little plant on here. Wow, the sun is intense. So it is a couple days later. I just worked out yesterday. I had a bad one all day, so I couldn't work out. But like I said, I'm trying not to be hard on myself. I can't make it happen. I am gonna wash my hair today because I haven't washed my new extensions yet. The good thing about these kind of extensions is that you can put conditioner like all the way up to the top because they're just sewn in. You don't have to worry about them like sliding out. There's something about skincare in the sun that just looks so freaking pretty. But these are two of the AHA peeling solution kind of products that I already use. I've talked about before. I really love the ordinary one. I feel like if you're debating between one of these, get the ordinary. It's way cheaper and it like does the same thing if not better. Makeup Revolution just came out with a whole skincare line. And I haven't tried anything yet, but they sent over the whole thing. So this is basically, it looks like the same thing. 30% AHA and BHA. It doesn't say what percent BHA this one is, but I'm going to try this one and see how it compares to the ordinary one. I'm pretty sure it's priced around the same price point, like 7 to $10 around there, I want to say. Here's some of the other products. I looked at the ingredients in a few of these, and like this one says it's rosehip oil, but it's mixed with like almond oil sunflower seed oil, all this other stuff, so grape oil, I don't know. I'm not going to try that one, but I'm going to go through and figure out which ones I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to try these ones for sure. So this is what it looks like. Pretty packaging. You definitely don't want to use these like in the morning or before you go out in the sun or anything, but it's like, I think it's like four o'clock right now, and I'm just going to be, oh wait, I should probably do the hair mask first because I'm not going to want to rinse this off. I'm gonna do the hair mask first and then put this on like 10 minutes before I get in the shower. Which hair mask do I want to use? Okay, I have like a tiny bit, maybe enough for my hair of the Brioche, Bri Bri well, Briochio one. But I'm gonna need to buy another hair mask because I actually don't have one. This is what I did when I had tapins too. Do I have like sweat stains? Probably. I just worked out people. Just separate your hair out. You can just put hair mask on the bottom parts. I think I'm forgetting to do something right now. I was gonna do before I did this, but too late now. I just like coat my hair in hair mask. I don't like using hair masks inside the shower as much because you can't leave them on as long. Okay, now the top. Wow, well, I look like a hoot right now. Oh, by the way, since I never talked about axe throwing, it is so addicting. It was so much fun. I thought it was gonna like flare up my neck just from like you know throwing, and you do it like two hands overhead, but it was fine. Um, but it was really fun. Like. I want to go back. Do they have a membership? Sign me up. All right, so then you look uh, real attractive like this. Going in an empties. I actually accumulated a lot of empties recently since the last empties video that I just posted, I feel like. So another one will be coming soon. Okay, so it is now like um, three hours later. I edited a video, got sucked into a bunch of emails, and uh, this is usually what happens. Three hours later, my hair mask is feeling a little crunchy so let's try this thing so i'm gonna put this on looks red like the uh oh i just got my lip so this one feels like more runny a little bit yeah the ordinary one looks like actual red when it's on your face this one i feel like just looks like it has like a tint of red so i'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes i just like half ate dinner it wasn't that good i'm gonna eat something else real quick Okay, we are just like chilling in my bathroom this entire vlog, but I feel like that did virtually nothing. It was very bizarre when I, so I left it on for 10 minutes. I didn't feel anything. Usually with 
AHAs you feel like some kind of stinging or something because your skin's like peeling and exfoliating. I didn't feel a thing and then when I washed it off it like came off my face. Like I didn't even have to like rub around. It doesn't look any different, doesn't feel any different. As of right now I would definitely recommend the Ordinary one over it. I've also been trying out the A Plus Sunday Riley. This says it has a 6.5% power blend of stabilized retinoids. This is a really unique formula for a retinol. It's the most moisturizing retinol I've ever used. I don't know if I should be using this right after the AHA. Probably not, but it's okay. I feel like that did nothing. I'm using up this Dr. Jarrett Waterfuse Hydro Gel. This isn't the sleeping mask. This is just the gel. This isn't going to be for everyone. It's one of those products I just know some people are going to hate. It has a tacky kind of feeling when it dries down. I, I like that for nighttime because I feel like it's really like locking everything in. But, you know, when you, like, touch your face, it's very sticky. And then because I use the retinol and the AJ, I'm going to use rose oil and a moisturizer tonight. I have a whole recent skincare routine video, by the way, that goes, like, in-depth about my go-tos, my holy grail products. Looking a little more moisturized now, thank God. Update. I've had a pretty bad one for, this is the third day now. So I have a person coming over to do a massage right now, but it's gone like off and on. I have a little bit of relief right now, but none of the painkillers or anything are working. So it is a couple days later. I'm feeling good today, so that's good. I just filmed and I'm about to take some Instagram photos. And then I actually leave for Portland today, so I'm super happy that I'm feeling good enough to go. We're leaving in a couple hours, so I'm going to try and get this done, finish packing, clean up a little bit, do dishes, take out the trash. All that good stuff and then we'll be off to portland i'm probably not going to vlog there because i think i'm going to try and film a video in the airbnb there and then the rest of the time i just want to like have an actual vacation and not worry about filming and things so we're not going to vlog i'm also going with my boyfriend so i just want to have like time to ourselves and everything but i'll catch you guys once i'm back here okay i'm back from portland i'll update you guys a little bit later on how the trip went i think i'm going to try doing a white base and this kale polish Winter is coming over top, but I want to try these out. I've never tried these dry and go drops. I think you just drop them on after your top coat, and it's supposed to help everything dry faster because I have a big nail polish dilemma right now. My holy grail top coat, Simple Colors Quick Dry, this is the best top coat ever made, is completely sold out. You can't find it anywhere on eBay, Amazon. I've looked, so now I'm trying to find like a better, or not a better, but just like a replacement top coat. I already had this one, so I'm just gonna like use this up properly and then see if it helps with the quick dry drops. But I'm gonna watch some Casey Holmes, drink my coffee, and paint my nails real quick. It's early, it's like 7.30 a.m. right now. I mean, they're both incredibly light. I did this same thing when I ordered, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with vanilla. So I had to like mix a really deep color with it. But I'm just going to work with this. So I've got my polish on and top coat. It says to wait 60 seconds, then apply the drop. So that's what I did. By the way, I just life hack paint over the shellac a couple times before I get them filled. It looks fine from like far away. You know, you can't really tell. If you look up close, you can see like the little line, but it just extends your shellac for a couple weeks. So I am going to, what am I doing? Oh, dropping these on. Look, weird little spout thing. I feel like if you have longer nails, you definitely need two drops just to cover the whole area. Feels a little bit more dry than this side. Like these ones still feel a little bit stickier. Okay, that definitely made them dry quicker. Yeah, this feels less sticky. I don't know if they're like fully dried to where I could like do things yet. It doesn't totally feel like it, but that does feel like it made those get a little bit less sticky and like a little bit more dry. Not my best paint job, but you know, it works. All right, so I just wanted to kind of like talk about Portland and just like update you guys on things. The past, since whenever I took the Botox has been the worst. Um, pain I've had in probably a year as in like straight pain straight and like having pretty much no days of relief I've been functioning about two hours like this is functioning to me <laughs> where I can talk um, for about a couple hours a day it's just interesting to me like I was just looking on my Instagram feed and you would literally have no idea, and that's just a reminder that Instagram is not reality, folks. Instagram isn't real time. Literally, the last nine photos on my feed right now have been taken the few hours a day that I'm out in the world and then posted when I'm like this. So, uh, for anyone else dealing with either chronic pain or mental illness or whatever it is, 
just know that when you look at Instagram and those things, you have no idea what's actually happening. And I don't post to Instagram like that to, to like purposely, you know, give off a different like reality. It's just, that's what Instagram is. Like no one wants to see photos of this, you know? And I also enjoy Instagram. Like I love the visual aspect of Instagram and just styling photos. And Instagram is probably my favorite platform, but you do lack, you know, things like this and just awareness of what someone's life actually is. Instagram is literally point zero 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 two percent of someone's life unless you're posting like 50 million stories a day which I do not like right now I'm still posting Portland photos I am in Seattle I am in bed I'm supposed to be at that gym meeting that we talked about earlier in this vlog to like set up my account and workout and things clearly can't happen today so Portland overall was really fun but we went up there because um, my boyfriend got me this play that I really love for Christmas. Uh, I've seen it once and it was in Portland and we ended up missing the play and having to sell the tickets. Luckily we sold them and it went to people who were super excited about it, but we had to sell the tickets because I ended up getting migraine like four hours before. I thought I could get rid of it in time, but I could not. So we ended up just like staying in that night and I feel so lucky that I have someone who is just like the best when it comes to that. Literally the best person I could want in that situation. Doesn't make it any easier sometimes when you literally just wanna live your life. Whenever I have good days, it makes me that much more thankful because that's literally all you can do, you know? Usually I'm pretty good about not like letting the chronic stuff get to me because I've had it for so many years that it is just my life at this point. But there's times like this where it's like when you get one decent day out of basically two months where I'm out like the entire day and feel normal and feel good. All I want to do right now is <laughs> work out, eat healthy, be able to cook food, work, film, edit, do all these things that I physically can't do right now. It's just very frustrating and turning down social commitments and work commitments and feeling like Sometimes you just have to bail on everything. I have an appointment with my neurologist this week, thank God, because I don't know how to get rid of this right now. None of my usual things have been working, so I think I'm going to try and switch from Amavig to AJV, which is a different shot, so I'm going to try that one. My sumatriptans haven't been working, which is usually how I get rid of a migraine when it's coming on. I just want you guys to know that if you're also growing through a shitty, shitty health thing right now. I feel ya. I think we're gonna end this vlog here. I have no idea how videos are gonna be the next whatever in the week that I was supposed to be taking off after 15 days of foundation. I did still film on the days that I could because I, I knew that just with how health stuff has been going, I would need to in order to have videos out. So I basically just been trying to film whenever I can. If you guys are seeing videos, obviously, you know, you won't know the difference, but that's where we're at right now. But I hope you guys uh, enjoy this vlog regardless of this, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.